Five break-ins in a span of 30 minutes. A Sierra Madre neighborhood is on alert tonight, not for thieves, but for a big bear. Welcome back to KCAL News at 9. I'm Pat Harvey. People in Sierra Madre are used to bear visits. This one was over the top, though. One bear broke into four homes and one garage. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is live with more on the uh, Bruin Bandit. Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Pat, and you know, most people love living in the city because of that connection that they get to nature and to wildlife by living so close to the base of the mountains. But sometimes these bears just cross the line. And today was a perfect example of that. A big bad bear broke into four homes and a garage today in Sierra Madre. Police had to fire pepper balls and sound a horn to scare it back into the nearby forest, but not before it walked around the neighborhood for nearly two hours, like it owned the place. It was a very polite bear. It didn't do any damage. It barged in through Lori DeVault's screen door on a mission for meat. She just opened up the freezer and pulled out the chicken. The neighbor filmed the bear running away with this hanging from its mouth. Got scared by the police dropped the chicken and the police gave me back my frozen chicken. So the city of Sierra Madre says no one was injured and that halfway through this year, people have reported 100 bear sightings here with four bears now entering homes. That's actually down substantially from last year when 370 bear sightings were reported with 70 bears entering homes. They say bear resistant trash cans and a ban on feeding bears has helped tremendously. I don't feel threatened by them, but um, you know, I think I wish it was different. This officer dipped down through the screen door just like the bear. Other officers kept their guns drawn until the house was confirmed to be bear free. I respect them and I love them, but I don't want them around. Mm -hmm. They should be more out in the wild and not trying to live off our trash cans and what's in the refrigerator. And the city's reminding people to call 911 anytime they feel threatened by wildlife or anytime they have a wild animal come inside of their homes. On a side note, I think it's a little interesting that the bear decided to go for that frozen chicken, but <laughs> maybe it's like a nice little chicken flavored popsicle on a warm day like the one we had today, Pat. Nicole, that's what I keep playing in my mind, and that's what I will always remember, <laughs> the bear actually holding the packet in his mouth. So hope he's, hope the bear is okay too. All right. <laughs> I hope he liked it. Yes. Thank you, Nicole. Well, a victory tonight for some Riverside residents.